this is history in the making for this community. Um, for Fruitful Vale and Shrewsbury and environs, um, this is one of the greatest moments that we've been all be, win, been waiting for for several years. And indeed, this is a moment that I could not miss. And I'm certain um, you being here today share a part of this community's history. I use the opportunity to welcome everyone that is here. And um, I know that we have so many representatives. We have political, we have representatives from Sports Development Foundation. We have representatives from Chase. And uh, if there's anybody here that I have left out, um, I, it was not my intention of leaving you out. Uh, we have a special part of this um, these proceedings, and I hope at the end of this ceremony, um, you will all say it was good for you to be here. At this time, I call on Mrs. Cynthia Martin, who happens to be the president of the Fruitful Vale Benevolent Society. She is going to be bringing greetings. Thank you, Mr. Wyndham. It's very hot for Portland. Oh. Honorable Minister, Mr. Vaz, from our funding agencies. I see Ms. Morgan and her party from JCF. I see Mr. Heavens and his, maybe not here as yet, other distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, children, good morning. I would take this time, just a moment, for us to just pause and remember um, some of us call her Sister Faith, some of us call her Miss Faith. Just that it. We have prepared and sent out many, many, many project proposals. And as I stand here today to greet you, I am very happy that finally our labor has borne fruit. And we want to really take the time publicly to say thank you to Minister Vaz for the effort, sir, you and your office has placed on this project. From the beginning, I sense your determination to see this community center upgraded. And I, on behalf of this community and its environs, I say a big thank you. To SDC in particular, and Home is Hope, I recognize your presence. In particular, Mr. Hiver Minot, who was our development area officer, and I wish he was really here with us today. Unfortunately, he's no longer in the SDC system. We wish to thank you, SDC, for your hard work, tireless commitment. Mr. Maynard had to assist in us to do the groundwork for this project. To our funding agencies, Jamaica Social Investment Fund, Sports Development Foundation, and yes, sir, we recognize you just arriving, and to Chase, I say a big thank you for coming on board and funding this venture. And I also take this opportunity to welcome you all to Fruitful Vale, and we hope that we will have a long and fruitful partnership. The Fruitful Vale Benevolent Society is committed to our role as community representatives slash sponsoring body on this project. And we will endeavor to do everything we possibly can with the cooperation and assistance of all our stakeholders to ensure that this project, the upgrading of the Fruitful Vales Cultural Center playing field is completed on time, within budget, and that on completion of this project, it will be of the highest possible quality. Again, I greet you all and thank you all for being here, sharing with us in this wonderful occasion. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Ms. Martin. At this time, I call on Ms. I. Ope, the parish manager of the social. Members of Chase, members of the JCF team, members of SDF, members of the Benevent Society, and the community. A very, very pleasant good morning. The Social Development Commission the arm of government that is responsible for community development. This project truly exemplifies stakeholder collaboration and partnership. We have the partnership 
of the funding agencies, our political directorate, and we also want to encourage you not to, we want you to ensure that you use these facilities, use these infrastructure that, have, that you have been blessed to have. Resources are scarce, and you're truly blessed with this opportunity of this project. Once again, I want to congratulate you. I thank you. As Ms. Martin spoke earlier about the commitment, there are many nights that we, we, we um, stayed up, even in this very building and other places where we sat together and we wrote proposals and we, you know, with the interest of the community in mind. And to really see this day unfolding before us, it is indeed one of the greatest moments we, we are witnessing at this time. And I must commend uh, a lot you said earlier, but I cannot um, overemphasize the work of our member of parliament. And I think he duly deserves a round of applause. <laughs> well, on a well-known face, because he's a councillor for the St. Margaret's Bay Division, and he's not only the councillor, but he's also, he's worshipped the mayor. We call on... Let me just pause for a while and emphasize the man that we have in Darrell Vaz. He's a man who we all know is a no-nonsense man. He's a man who thinks like I think. Something is to be done, it must be done now. No excuses from the mere fact avenues are there and resources are available, it must be done. At a time when individuals tend to be laid back, and be lethargic in getting things done. He proves himself to be the real opposite of that. We have seen in this community, in the St. Margaret's Bay Division, where a number of projects have been undertaken and they have been executed well. We could never have realized these realities without his input. And Minister, I want to say thanks to you for the time that you have taken out and the importance that you have put towards this community. You have worked with the Benevolent Society and other agencies to make things a reality. And we want to say we are proud of you. We are glad that we have you as our member of parliament. And whatever we do, we will do everything possible to keep it that way. The other organization, Chase Jasif, you could have gone somewhere else. You could have pumped your resources somewhere else. But based on what I saw down at the Fruitful Vale School the other day, and the time you have taken out to emphasize and display and demonstrate, it means that you care for us. Most times, communities that are so rural are left behind. But you have left all the way in Kingston to come here and make our dream a reality. Produce our own Usain Bolt. Merle Naughty and other great people are from elsewhere, you have demonstrated to us that you want to help us to make our great people come to the fore. We want to say thanks to you all for having put the trust in us that we can go ahead and do what we have to do. Thanks to us all for coming forward and decide to make it work. But I must say on the other hand, it is our community and whatever is going to be there, it is ours, our appreciation. And when I say to show our appreciation, it's not just to say thanks, but to be there to help others to understand the need for us as a community to take care of what we have. All that politics that will put it there, it is the, the dedication of different agencies, different stakeholders, and us as a community. So thanks for coming out and thanks for supporting the project. And we want to ensure that as we move along. Thank you, sir. Good morning, Member of Parliament, Darrell Vaz. And lastly, but not by, no, not by any means the least, members of the Fruitful Vale community. You are the reason why we're here. The Sports Development Foundation, along with the Member of Parliament, Darrell Vaz, first visited the Fruitful Vale community to look at the Shrewsbury project over a year ago. 
And um, today marks a very memorable day. It marks the day when we shall, quote unquote, break ground officially. Now, the Sports Development Foundation's role in this project is to construct a multi-purpose court complete with fencing. And uh, to date, our project has started. And um, we are penultimately at the phase where we shall be looking into paving the court. And um, the contractor is on the way right now, rearing and ready to go to have the, the court fenced. So looking at our deadline, we are right on the ball. We expect to be out of here by the end of this month, weather permitting. To date, we have had mostly good weather. And um, I don't control the weather, neither does anybody else. And we hope that God will continue to smile on us and give us good weather so we can complete the project within time. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I don't need to be long because my work has already begun. And I will just leave you by saying, um, Mr. Pearson, incidentally, is in the crowd with me. And um, I want to acknowledge his presence. He is a project supervisor who is making sure that this project is done according to specifications, as we do with all other projects. And finally, brethren, as we're in church, I leave you with these few words. The Sports Development Foundation, developing a nation through sports. Thank you. At this time, I left out earlier, uh, give him the opportunity um, also to share greetings with us as the other side. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. It's just about noon. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, Minister Daryl Vaz, His Worship the Mayor, Mr. Floyd Patterson, all the agencies represented here that are really making sure that this project becomes a reality. Let me say thanks to you. Thanks to the community and, of course, the Benevolent Society. I want you all to give them a big round of applause because they are the leaders in this. It is truly a pleasure for me being a child of this community. And of course, I must acknowledge that I was growing up in this church, this very same one. And Your Worship, I also want to remind you when you mention about the greatness of Usain Bolt, I want to remind you that this community has also stamped its class by producing the present Governor General. He's from this village. So, we also expect to see more greatness because of this project. Because, of course, we do have talented people, but for too long, we have been left behind. So, thanks to all the people who came together and make sure that this happened, because we do have talent here, and with a project like this, we'll be able to unearth the talent. I, however, want to implore the community, though, that we make it a community project and not a political project. Amen. We make sure that the people in the community get whatever job is there and they don't get the job by whatever color they wear. But if they are in need, let them share the bread. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, I leave you by saying this is the day that the Lord has sent. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you. We turn our attention now to Chase Funds, Culture, Health, Arts, and Education, for Sports and Education. We invite the representative of, Ch of Chase to come forward at this time. Mr. Evan. The Honorable Daryl Vaz, um, Minister of Government, and my blazer, because the last time I came here, I was cold. 
it's quite the opposite this time around. It's actually a hot day in, um, in, in, in Portland. And in keeping with that, I bring you the usual warm chase greetings on this occasion. This project that we launched today and which we will break ground for today, it is actually what Chase represents. It represents training, it represents culture, and it represents recreation. It's a model project for us in two ways. One, it represents a fundamental partnership. It represents a financial partnership between, among, three lead agencies in the public sector, the Chase Fund, JSIF, and SDF. And I believe it's the first time, Paulette, that we are embarking on such a partnership in our experience at Chase. We have worked with each agency as a group of two, but not as um, three. But it also represents a big social partnership. And this social partnership involving all the stakeholders, the community, and all other beneficiaries of this project, it represents that partnership as well. And while the financial partnership is good, what is even more fundamental to the project is the social partnership that it represents because it will require the input of all the communities involved to make this project happen and work. It must serve the purpose for which it was intended and also the maintenance is very important. Right now, it's a little bit bushy down there, but I'm sure when this project is fully established, then all of that will become a thing of the, of the past. We have participated in a number of community centers right across the island, Minister Vaz. We have done the Albert Town Community Center in Trelawney. We have done Barber Hall in St. Elizabeth, Chudley in Manchester, Riversdale in St. Catherine, Content Gap in St. Andrew, and Rocky Point in Clarendon. This is also one of those flagship projects that we will do as a community cultural center. Our role at Chase in this project is a, we are the coordinator of this multi-agency response to this request for funding, and we are very happy to do that. It's part of our cultural consciousness that we express right across Jamaica during our eight years of existence. The status of our intervention, we have already tendered the project. The contract is about to be signed. We are just awaiting some further inputs from the contractor. We will start this component of the project in November, and it should take only between three to four months for completion. Once again, thanks for giving us the opportunity to serve you. We hope that this project will help to develop this community and the broader Jamaica. Thank you very much. We thank you very much, Mr. Evans, for your address, for your um, greetings. On behalf of the managing director, but instead, we will be having Mr. Carl McKenzie, who is the project manager of BNTF projects. And at this time, we put our hands together and invite him to come forward. Mr. Carl McKenzie of JC. Honorable Darrell Vaz, Member of Parliament, Investment Fund. We are today very pleased to witness the signing of this agreement between members of the Fruitville Vale Community Benevolent Society and the Jamaica Social Investment Fund. And here I'll pause just to explain what is the, the community agreement. When we were approached by um, Chase 
to um, partner in this project. It is normal for the JSF to get the community involved in what they do because we are a, basically a community. As you have been told before, the project has a number of components. However, the agreement, the community agreement that you're going to be signing would embrace all the, 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 um, the, um, the inputs that will be done. That is um, the input from Chase, so the input from SDC, because what we really want you to do is a ha to have a sense of ownership. As I said by Mr. He Billy Heaven and by the SDF person, we need for you to take care of this complex so that it is not a matter of the Honorable Mr. Vaz being spearheaded. In other words, whatever other funding you can get, it can be used to do other development within the community, either to the, the complex that is already there or other activities within the community. This agreement relates to the upgrade of the Fruitwood Vale Stewberry Cultural Center playing field, a project aimed at improving and increasing access to social and economic infrastructure within the community. You might know on driving up, you'll see a sign, Jason. We have already actually rehabilitated a community center, the, um, the health center in Fruitful Vale. And the minister will tell you later, we will be back in this community within the next three months to do your water supply. So it's as though there's, there's a continuing partnership with JC. Right? Now we are back to launch this project. We hope that this project will be able to, to assist the youth to have more modern amenities, make use of the sports facility for training purposes, for culture and economic activities. They say in life, actions speak louder than words. And I'm a true believer in that. And it is very hot, and I want to go quickly and go and break ground so that the contractors can continue to work so that you can get your place in the short order and all of us can come back here and look at what the final product is. Thank you to all the government agencies, all the people who have put their time, and remember that the quantum of money, the $7 million that JC speak about, despite what I have put up on behalf of the Benevolent Society, the rest is sweat equity. You know what sweat equity mean? That you work without pay. Sweat equity. Your investment in this project is sweat equity. When you have to meet, instead of go to the bar and play domino, you meet. When you have to go down there and take up tin of paint and paint out a little spot because you don't need to make it reach to the stage where the whole place needs to paint over before you just touch out the little spot. So I charge you, we have done as member of parliament and the government and the benevolent society what we need to do to bring it us here today. The rest is dependent on you. Go forth and do what you need to do. Thank you. have contracted to do, I'm going to read, all right, the community representative shall provide a contribution to the cost of the project, monitor the project, the progress of the project, participate in the final inspection of the project, Ensure that utility connections are made if applicable. Notify the funds of the effects. Ensure that the benefits of the project are sustained. Ensure community support for training.
Time, time again for bad bad. Thank you. Uh, of course. Oh, 